What's going on guys? Jacob Borth back here with another video of Jacob's Life Vegas coming to you guys with this lovely lady again. Hey. <laughs> here with Lacey. We're going to do a walkthrough at a home. We're actually here in Inspirata in Henderson right now. Definitely a popular neighborhood. One of the most popular. <laughs> one Absolutely. Of the, one of the most popular neighborhoods here in Henderson, Nevada. And we're going to take you guys on this walkthrough tour of this home right here. And Lacey's going to give us some details about it. And remember guys, if you want to contact Lacey to buy your home here in Southern Nevada, link's down below. You can get in touch with her. So she help us out. She'll give us some uh, inside info on this home here. And let's go take a look. Sweet. Hey guys, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks Jacob for having me back. So today we're going to walk a model home. Just before we even walk through, I want to just say out loud, so we're all on the same page, model homes are designed to look extra nice. There's a lot of features that are not included automatically, so just know that, and I'll try to point out some of those when we come in. This feature, though, let me show you this awesome, awesome thing. This house here is a little over 2,000 square feet, 2,014 square feet. So it's kind of a starter home, really, here in Las Vegas. Kind of starts in the mid-300s, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But this includes this amazing front, <laughs> like, porch... I don't even know what they're calling like it, a courtyard. Uh -huh. it's a, it includes it. Now, it's not going to look like this with all the pavers and the beautiful landscaping. You have to do that. But how awesome is that, that you already walking in the door have a private area with, a, with literally a gate behind you, and you have this awesome courtyard that you can kick off kind of entertaining people and enjoying the house with. So this is one of my favorite features of this house already. So again, like I said, it's a little over 2,000 square feet. This is a three bedroom, two and a half bath home. You can have a loft, but if you do the loft, you lose a bedroom. So keep that in mind. Come on in. As I said, model homes are very upgraded. So, and it's very cavernous too right here, isn't it? <laughs> the flooring is gonna be a little bit more bougie than you'd probably choose for yourself. You do pay for those things. The design and the wall color might be a little bit of an upcharge. Just keep those things in mind as we're walking through. What I like about this home though, it's a little bit smaller than kind of the average home in Vegas, but they've done a really nice job with the layout. So you walk in and you have a beautiful kind of great room that allows you to really spread out and decide how you want to design the home, right? You've got this nice area over here that they currently have designated as like the living room. The wall paneling is not included, just putting it out there again. I'm sure I don't have to say this, but I want to make sure nobody gets the wrong idea. But what's great about this is they've got this nice big great room that allows you to really kind of decide how you want to use the space. This would typically be designated as a beautiful living room. Some people choose to use the center area as a dining space. As you can see, they've done that here, but you don't have to do that. This could be another area where you, you know, decide to do something different. And then you've got this awesome kitchen, which is designed with a little bit of a different flair. Darker cabinets is kind of coming in, colored cabinets are coming in. But the kitchen opens up to the, to the area over here, which is a really important part of like uh, homes and how they're laid out. A lot of people have the kitchens cut off, blocked off. This is kind of the new set and way of design. It's all one big room, you decide how to use it. But the kitchen opening up to the rest of the house is kind of a really big deal and a really nice selling feature. The countertops shown in this house may be the standard. Um, this is, the, you know, a lot of the builders are including the granite or um, upgraded uh, countertops. The colored cabinets will not be included, just saying it, just gonna put it out there. Same thing with the backsplash and all the marble and things like that. But they do include stainless steel uh, appliances, probably not this kind, but they do include them. So you have to be, this is another reason why you wanna use a realtor when you're buying a new home. They can dig in and help negotiate what's included, but also help you understand going into it. So you're not coming in thinking you're gonna literally walk into this house. This is not the house you're gonna get. The bones are, but that's about it. So the beautiful kitchen, open layout. This massive, gorgeous, like amazing stacking door, which we are not allowed to open because it's a liability, um, is a massive upgrade. These can range anywhere from seven to $25,000 in an additional um, fee above and beyond what the cost of the home would be because it's a full wall that they're deciding to cut out and make these beautiful stacking doors. In my opinion, totally worth it, always, <laughs> all day, every day, because it adds value to the home, but also creates an inside-outside kind of feel so you can really open your home up and create kind of a combination living space here. They've built out the pool. Model home builders will never, ever, ever build the pool for you. So, and I hate to, it's not like I'm like all negatives, but <laughs> I just want you to know, um, but this is a, not a very large lot, and I kind of want to point that out. It's probably about a, maybe a 5,000 square foot lot, and yet they've still made, um, had the ability to figure out how to fit a pool in here and make it look beautiful. So don't think you have to get the largest lot or the biggest backyard in order to have a pool. They did a really beautiful job with this, and it's not that big at all. So 
Okay, let's go upstairs, Jake. Actually, let's go over here. Mm -hmm. We've got a little bathroom we got to check out. <laughs> cool. Should I show the pantry before yeah, we move? Yeah, might as well. I skipped the pantry. It's like so important too. Nice, nice open door pantry. Because this is a smaller home, they didn't waste any of the square footage for a walk-in pantry, so that's something that you just need to know coming into it. You've got a little bit of pantry space, but they make up for it with all the cabinet space throughout the kitchen. So, you may not have a huge pantry, but you've got lower and upper cabinets throughout, which is great. All righty. Follow me this way. Mm -hmm. As we come into the main entrance here, they've got a little kind of foyer, so you could put like a seating bench here, so you can put your purse down, your backpacks, whatever you got going on there. They've got these bathrooms. I'm gonna walk in with you and then I'm gonna slip out. Wallpaper is so back in right now, Jacob. I don't know what's the deal. Do you like wallpaper? I don't like peeling it off, but putting it on is probably pretty fun. I don't know. Uh -huh. Anyway, wallpaper's so in. This is a small um, power room is what they call it. This is the half bath in the two and a half bath that we were talking about. Um, really great because you don't have to share your bathroom with your guests that come over, right? So you don't have anybody going into your bedroom to use the bathroom that you would have there. This is the bathroom that they would use on the first floor if you're entertaining. So I'm going to step out and let you take a glance of how that looks. And as you're looking into, uh, you know, you're sitting in the restroom or your guests are utilizing the restroom, just be careful what you say on the patio because they can hear you. It's right there. All right, let's take it upstairs. Okay. The carpet in this home has been upgraded a little bit. Again, something that flooring is a big thing that people, a big misconception that people have about, about new homes. You pay for the flooring. There is flooring included no matter what with homes. You just have to decide if it matches what you really want. So the way this is set up, um, it's a three bedroom house, 2,000 square feet, a little over 2,000 square feet. They set it up as a two bedroom house with a loft. So this area here, which is really cool and really great, gives you another living space, could be turned into a bedroom. And the wall would be probably right here. And the door entry would be here. This would be an entire bedroom set up that has its own full bath connected. But instead, because of the model, and the audience they're trying to go for, they decided to build it out as the two bedroom model with the loft to show that you could have that secondary living space. This house feels like you, Jacob. I think you need to buy it. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty awesome. So same thing goes for the cabinets here. The cabinets, mm -hmm. you're good to choose. Cabinets are included. They're not an add-on. If you want nice colored cabinets, they're an mm -hmm. add-on. But some of the standard features that these builders are included, including are super nice. So don't get crazy thinking, oh my God, it's gonna cost me so much more. You just have to be smart about what you're choosing to do for upgrades and let your realtor help you so that you're not overspending and you're getting a beautiful home that you didn't overspend on. Very important. It's a pretty cool loft. It is. And of course the design features help it look even more cool. The beer sitting here, I mean, hello. <laughs> All right, so let's check out the master bedroom. Master bedroom and bathroom are like one of my favorite places in all of these model homes. And that's typically where a lot of the builders spend most of their money for upgrades. Kitchen and master bath are like the two most important places you can spend money if you're choosing to do upgrades because that's really going to add value from a resale perspective to your home. So this bedroom is big enough to not only have a king size bed, but then also have this big old piece of furniture at the end of the bed and still have plenty of space all around. Very nice size master bedroom. They really didn't waste any space here. They really utilized it nicely. Gave you lots of room to breathe and enjoy the house, which is cool. Master bedroom matters. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> You're looking out on, on top of your small yet very well utilized backyard. And actually, if you want to look, there's a home right behind us here, Jacob, that has a backyard bigger than the one that we have mm -hmm. in this house. And yet they, they haven't done any landscaping yet, but they don't even need that much space to get a pool in. No. It's just like, you know, so a lot of people are like really concerned about the size of the backyard. Yeah, it's not a sprawling rolling hills, but it's a really, really good size and good utilization of the backyard. And then in Inspirata, you have to know, a lot of the houses are kind of close together, but they make up for it with three pools, several parks, all kinds of really cool stuff that makes the community much better. So you don't have to worry about putting in a pool if you don't want. Every lady's dream is this room right here. <laughs> Big old walk-in closet, thank you. Uh-huh. Now, 
they, this doesn't have any custom build outs. A lot of the builders do put those in for the models. I like that they left it kind of standard so you can see what you're really getting. Right. But uh, it's great. Nice big size walk in closet. Any girl who has more than three pairs of shoes is going to love this. <laughs> So about 100%. Yeah. This um, this door would be an upgrade. Mm. Obviously, this is a, a paneled door that has a mirror built in. It would be an upgrade. Maybe not an expensive one. So if that's something that's important to you, just know that's not a standard. <laughs> they also did some unique stuff here with... Now it's very echoey. Sorry. But they did some unique stuff here with this bathroom. So typically, first of all, how badass is that? Like, it's really <laughs> awesome. It makes me want to vomit a little bit. Like, this is not the shower you want to go into after you partied all night on the strip. That would give me a headache, right? <laughs> like, this is not the hangover shower you want to go into. But what they did here is they're trying to show you that you don't have to have the standard bathtub slash shower setup. You can just do a bigger walk-in shower and enjoy that. Or what this typically would be is bathtub shower or bathtub with the shower here mm -hmm. so they really are just trying to show that they, honestly like the design of these model homes is meant to inspire you to do what, what's going to work for your life and don't just stick with the standard this is an upgrade but um you know you can always i don't think it's an expensive one you can always look at the pricing at that at the time mm -hmm. these are standard cabinets except for the color so standard size of cabinets you're going to get the double sink that's included Undermount sink is also usually included, which is helpful when it comes to cleaning. You just wipe it right down in. Yeah. And then the cap of the uh, countertops. This is an upgraded countertop, but not too too bad. Not too bad. I don't know if you care about this toilet, but I always find it funny. People when they are um, coming to visit me who move from other parts of the country are always surprised when we have a separate room for the toilet. I'm gonna move over here. <laughs> Notice the doors have been removed. That's what they do in model homes. They want to make it look as big as possible. So they remove all the doors in the house to make it feel like it's flowy. But I, I don't know why. I guess in other parts of the country, they don't have that small room for the bathroom. I, Apparently. I guess not. I'm used to having <laughs> privacy when I poop. I don't know. Anyway, so really nice. As you can see, I was saying like you spend the money in the master bath and you spend the money in the kitchen. And they absolutely did that for this home. All right, let's go to the second bedroom. Little hallway down here. Another favorite room of mine is the laundry room. Let's just <laughs> take a sigh and, and appreciate the fact that it's on the second level of the home. Yes. Makes doing laundry and putting it away real easy. Something that I'm uh, that's an I don't know if it's a new trend or if it's just something I recently noticed, but the laundry room is almost always going to be on the same level as the master bedroom. So uh -huh. if you have a house that has a master bedroom on the first floor, that's where your laundry is gonna be. If you have a master on the second, like the one we're in, it's gonna be accompanied by the laundry room. So it's good to know that and keep that in mind if you're looking for a two-story home, where's the master? Cause that's gonna matter. Mm -hmm. And then you have another bedroom here that has its own full bath as well. So what I love about this house is every bedroom has its own bathroom, full bath. So you don't have to worry too, too much about, oh no, is this? Oh no, this doesn't. This shares the bathroom. Sorry, right. I'm totally wrong. This has <laughs> okay. two and a half bath. I was thinking another one we were going to do. Regardless though, if this ends up just being a loft, then this is a private bathroom for this bedroom. Otherwise, this would be mm -hmm. a Jack and Jill bathroom. Sorry about that. Um, that, that would share the two, <laughs> the two rooms. Sorry. Right. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself, Jacob. You got to help me slow down. I don't think it was going to hold it against you too much. All right. <laughs> this has a standard closet. And if you were to build out the bedroom instead of the loft, it would also probably have a standard closet. The only one in this home specifically with the walk-in is going to be the master. And honestly, guys, that's because this is a, only a little over 2000 square feet. They're really trying to maximize that, that square footage. Instead of using it on closet space, they're giving you more living space, which is a, a nice trade-off. So drum roll, do you want to know how much this starts at? Absolutely. Okay, so this is, again, we'll do a little quick review. 2,014 square feet, three bedroom, two and a half bath, or two bedroom and a loft. It depends on what you want. That's an option. It's got the great room downstairs, which is really nice, that big open space, and it's got a two bay garage. Starts at 362,000. Now, that's the base price, so let me just give it to you straight. New homes are always gonna start at 362 or whatever the price is. And then you have to add on, if you decide to put nicer floors, that's an add on. If you decide to put backsplash in the kitchen, that's an add on. If you want those dark cabinets, that's an add on. So it can add up, but if you're smart and you have a realtor who helps you guide you through the process, you can really get this house for close to what it's the, the main price is because really don't spend money on stuff you could do after your house is built for a lot less. 
doing the upgrades through the builder, some of them make sense, most of them don't. So having a realtor who knows helps that process along. So 362,000 is what this starts at. This is one of the lower priced homes here in Inspirata. The homes in Inspirata are higher value because it is such a booming and popular area. There are a couple of builders up here. Biggest piece of advice I can give you, if you're thinking about buying a new home, do not walk into the new home community without a realtor with you or without a realtor who has registered you in advance. Because if you go in without a realtor, they will never be able to be a part of your conversation and they cannot help you in negotiating and in getting incentives and in getting 10,000 off or whatever it is that they're offering. You're on your own. So call your realtor first, decide where you want to go, go check out, check it out together or make sure you're pre-registered so that you guys are all protected in the process. But that's it. Welcome to Inspirata, man. It's awesome. Cool. How did I do? I think you did pretty good. Thanks. <laughs> so guys, Lacey did another awesome job showing us around a uh, home here in the Vegas Valley. So remember you guys, you want to buy a home here in Inspirata, in Henderson, in Las Vegas, North Las Vegas, anywhere here in the Vegas Valley, Lacey's the go-to person. You can get in touch with her down below. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. I'm Jacob. I'm Lacey. <laughs> this is my life in Vegas.